everyone. Welcome back to English Year 4. Today, you will be learning the grammar on page 76. In the previous lesson, you have learned the indefinite pronouns. Someone. Seseorang. Or somebody. Something. Sesuatu. You also learned every. Everyone, semua orang or everybody and everything, semuanya. Now today we're going to focus on the compound any and no. So anyone or anybody, sesiapa, anything, apa sahaja, no one, tiada sesiapa, nothing, tiada apa-apa. Now look at this pen. Can you see anyone inside here? No, isn't it? So there's no one in the tent. There isn't anyone in the tent. So no one or anyone refer to a person. Now I want you to look at these two sentences. Pay attention to these two types of sentences. One, there's is the affirmative sentence and there isn't with the not is the negative sentence. So, affirmative, you use no one. Negative sentence, you use anyone. Now, let's look in the fridge here. Can you see any food? No, there is nothing in the fridge. There isn't anything in the fridge. So, anything or nothing refer to a Thing. Now, look again at these two types of sentences. One is affirmative. You have there is, there's. So, you use the word nothing. Another one is the negative sentence. Isn't. Okay, you have the not. It's negative. So, you use anything. Let's look at the example in the questions and affirmative answer using the indefinite pronouns, anyone. We use anyone to ask question. Is there anyone behind the tree? So anyone refers to a person. Look at the picture, you can see someone. So is there anyone behind the tree? You should answer using yes. Yes, there is someone behind the tree. Now let's see how we can answer in negative form. Is there anyone in the car? Can you see anyone? No, isn't it? So is there anyone in the car? No. So you say, no, there isn't. It's a negative form. You have to not. No, there isn't anyone in the car. So in negative form, we have to use anyone. In question, we also use anyone. In negative answer, we also use anyone. Let's use anything in question. So anything refers to thing. Okay, we ask, is there anything in the drawer? Okay, you can see something, isn't it? So, how are we going to answer this kind of question? Is there anything in the drawer? Yes. Yes, there is something in the drawer. Okay, this is affirmative answer. You have the word is, there is. Okay. Okay, let's see the negative answer. Is there anything in the bag? There's nothing in the bag. So is there anything in the bag? So you say, no, there isn't anything in the bag. Okay, this is a negative answer. You have to not, so you have to use anything. All right, for your practice, you can do workbook page 62. Exercise 1, answer the questions. Exercise 2, you read and choose the correct 
answer, underline it. Exercise 3, you look at the pictures and write the correct words in the sentences. Now let's focus on exercise 1, on how to answer the questions. Okay, you have is there, are there, what's and whose question. Okay, let's focus on the indefinite pronouns, anyone. Okay, you have anything here and anyone, okay. So you have three questions with indefinite pronouns. Okay, let's see how we can answer this kind of question. Is there anyone in the forest? Anyone refers to a person. Okay, this is a forest. You can see people here in the forest. So is there anyone? Anyone? Yes. So you have to say yes. There's. Okay, this is a affirmative sentence. Affirmative answer. So there's what? Okay, if you forget, refer back to this video. Yes, there's what? In the forest. Okay, number two. Is there anything in the orange bag? So look for the orange bag. That's the orange bag. So look in the bag. Yes, there is something. Is there anything in the orange bag? Look, there is something. So the answer is yes. There is what? Okay, what is the indefinite pronoun here? In the orange bag. Okay, there's another indefinite pronoun, anyone. Is there anyone in the sleeping bag? That's the sleeping bag. Can you see anyone here? There's nobody, isn't it? So is there anyone? No. No, there isn't. It's a negative form. So there isn't what? Okay, what is the indefinite pronoun here? In the sleeping bag. Okay, let's go back to question three. What's in the red bag. In the red bag. That's the red bag. Can, what can you see here? Okay. Torches. Yes, you can see two torches, isn't it? So how do you answer this? What's in the red bag? So there are, because you can see two. So there are, okay, what? How many torches in the red bag? Number four. Are there any tents? Are there? You have to answer yes or no. That's the tense, another tense. So are there any tense? Yes, there are. So how many tense? Okay. And last question, whose is the green torch? Whose is the green torch? Now you look for the green torch. This one, this a blue torch. Where's the green torch? There, that's the green torch. So whose? You have the name Huang. So whose is the green torch? So you have to say the green torch is, okay, you must have the apostrophe S. It's Huang's. Well, I guess that's all for today. I hope you know how to use the indefinite pronouns. Nothing, anything, no one, anyone. Okay, till then, see you again. Bye.